Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart in the happen. So they say courts, eh? Courts, judges are compromised. Charlie Boy and I they talk him, and he really gave real example. Say the courts, the judges are all compromised. See me they be careful. You know, say that all of the see me they see me they be careful. You know, say because Nigerians know. Nigerians know exactly what did happen. You know, my dear, we need to do the right thing. If we know say something no good, we don't need to pretend and be and behave as if we don't know the right thing. Let's do the right thing. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. As Charlie Boy give details, you know, with regards to with regards to uh, you know, uh, with regards to how he could verify that you know the judges have been compromised. Charlie Boy stressed that Nigerians have been weakened by ignorance, tribal sentiments, you know, adding that common man can no longer find justice in this country. The Nigerian singer and activist Charlie Opara, popularly known and addressed as Charlie Boy, has alleged that the Nigerian court has been compromised. Yes, he stated that the judgment of the Supreme Court would not be different from what the ruling of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, PEPT, which affirmed the victory of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the 2023 election. Recall that following the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal verdict, the Labour Party presidential candidate in the February 25th election, Peter Obi, and Alaji Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party appreciated the apex, approached the apex court, vowed to ensure that all legal proceedings are followed for them to get the, get the truth of what really happened. However, look at what is going on. Speaking with Leap Nigeria in an interview, Charlie Boy, a staunch supporter of Labour Party, has questioned on the on the expenditures of the Supreme Court judgment, saying the courts and judges and everyone around about it are all compromised. He stressed that Nigerians have been weakened and ignorant, tribal sentiment, religious sentiment, adding that common man can no longer find justice in this country. He said, not actually, we are expecting anything different from what the presidential election tribunal judgment has already said we can see that the court the judges they are all compromised their money their money is with their money is already with the executive and so if they say otherwise they will have themselves to blame we know but we want to make it out there and let the world know that the man who is in the place did not qualify he did not qualify to be Nigerian's president. Everybody is aware. We are living in a very strange time. Country is being is, is not deserving of this kind of leadership, not with the way people turned out to vote. Maybe we deserve the punishment we are getting for ignorance and tribal sentiment, religious sentiment. We weakened the process of true justice because we say, this is my brother, this is my sister. When we know he's not competent, see what happened with Buhari. Guy, you don't speak well, though. You finish the matter, not getting that into hard for the matter. In fact, you talk the truth though, because sentiment now which it all destroy this nation in no small way. Sentiment is you know, Charlie Boy say way, it's not like we're expecting anything different to be quite candid. We are not expecting that the sky will become blue or pink. We are not expecting it to. That we get to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court will now say, Yes, we can see that indeed there was a mistake. Oh, we've analyzed it. Uh, for instance, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is no longer president. He said they are not expecting that. He said it's not going to happen. With this, with the with the way things are currently, he said nothing will change. Currently, with the current situation and the way things are, so unless something happens, he said, but they just want to continue to push this button for the whole world to know, for the whole world to know that things cannot continue the same way they are. And all of a sudden, there will be a difference. It says it's not going to happen. You know, it says so there is need, urgent need for every single person, you know, to get the truth. 
and to be able to make a real difference in order for the change to come. Okay? So it is what it is. We have gone through a lot already in this country. We've gone through a lot already in this country. Most of the things we are suffering is because of bad leadership. It's not because we don't have enough. It's not because as a country, you know, we don't have the potential of the true change we desire. But bad leadership, you know, people who get there and they want to amass wealth for themselves without working for the nation is part of what has brought us where we are today. And for us to change the course of this, everybody will now need to agree together and say, you know what, enough is enough. We're not going to allow the same people over and over again to determine what happens to us. It must become, it must become a, a real, a real, you know, a real shift. It must become our watchword, our reality, so much so that we, we are ready to do everything, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that things change. When we are able to do that, then we'll see the change we desire. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember that nobody, none of us, okay, nobody will be, will, none of us will, will be allowed to continue to do what we are doing if we do not speak out and ensure that the truth is being manifested. We must come out with the truth and we must ensure that at the end of the day, Nigeria becomes a better place. Every single one of us must do all that is needed, humanly speaking, possible to bring Nigeria into where it needs to be. Okay? The people you are seeing out there, they don't care about you. They don't care about this uh, nation becoming the nation that it should be. You know, so this is what is happening. Every single one of us know. Okay? Every single one of us know, you know, what's going on. And we need to ensure that we, you know, we, we, we bring this country out of the present predicament and put everything, you know, within, within contests for us to have the change. Okay? So it is what it is. It is what it is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember that you have a voice. Okay? So Nigerians, it is time that we do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that every single person knows exactly what is going on and we do everything and do all that we can. It is important that we understand all of this because every one of us have a big part to contribute, okay? Every one of us have a big part to contribute. This is our country, okay? God bless. Bye for now.